So we have the Twitter approach. Yes. That has taken people home <laughs> to work permanently. Yeah. And then we have the Elon Musk approach. Oh, yes. So That happened also this week. Before we get into this, I just want to say, Elon Musk is one of <laughs> the most innovative and outspoken people I have ever seen in my entire lifetime. Which leads... Certainly outspoken. Oh, yes. Which leads per- perfectly into this segment. Okay. <laughs> For those who don't know, Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla. And if you did not know that, you're living under a rock. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but because he's the CEO of Tesla, the main factory for Tesla is in California. As you guys know, California is one of the most strict areas when it comes to coronavirus lockdowns. And in fact, they were, I think, one of the first three states to have a lockdown. Um mm-hmm ages ago like early in march before the rest of the country did on like march 15th right um yeah so elon musk pretty much said on twitter because you know he sits on twitter just like trump it's great i love it um (laughs) so he said on twitter hey i'm not gonna sit here and just have the government keep me in my house for the foreseeable future especially because they don't know how long this lockdown is going to be so he literally said on twitter we are reopening the california factory for tesla and if you need to arrest me go ahead (laughs) (laughs) and the funny part is that that happened two days ago which means tesla reopened yesterday Mm -hmm. i have not heard of any arrests I have not either. He pretty much just flipped off the entire state. Mm-hmm. And nothing really happened. I mean, I'm sure he's going to get fined. Maybe. Sure. Oh, the state's going to find a way to get money from him. Oh, yeah. 100%. Which is going to suck because if I remember correctly, Tesla profit margins are not that big. So this might bite him in the ass a lot. Just like him tweeting that Tesla shares are too high and the company went down 10% in an hour. <laughs> um, yeah. He is, I, I'll agree with you, he's very innovative, mm-hmm. very, very outspoken. Mm-hmm. And he has, you look at some of the things he does mm-hmm. and you go, what are you thinking? Yes. And then the Cybertruck sells so much. Yes. So much. And the Cybertruck, what, what are you doing? <laughs> and then he names his baby XA, XA12, like a spaceship model. And... Yeah. And then this happens. And then this happens. And, I mean, he's as random as Trump is. <laughs> it's incredible, though. Because nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. We're, we're, you know, it, it really gets you thinking. And I know we're... Our main point of the podcast in current days is to talk the least about coronavirus as possible because we want to get away from that. But it Mm. really gets you thinking. Yeah, he might be getting fined. But if the rules are really not that enforced, why are we still home? Mm. I I was hoping you were going to bring this up. Yes. Because this is what Elon's Twitter comments are saying. If it's not that big of an issue... Why are, th- why are people still home? And then the other thing I found the most interesting, which is related to this, is if we have as many homeless people as we do in America, why has the entire homeless population not died yet of coronavirus because of the lack of resources they have? Interesting. It's an interesting point. Yeah. I'll let you take it from so, there because it sounds like you have something to say. I got got a couple. Let's go. Okay. So Elon Musk doing this mm-hmm. put the state of California in a very hard position mm-hmm. because they had to choose to either enforce it, arrest him, or fine him. Right. Which apparently they haven't arrested him yet. Yeah. And I don't know if they find him yet. I'm sure articles but would have like come he, out about that, and I haven't seen anything about it. 
Yeah, I haven't either. He hasn't tweeted about it, so... True. Probably didn't happen. But this means that everybody out there that's in California right now goes, okay, he can do it. Mm -hmm. He can bring his employees back to work. Why can't I go do it? Right. And that's going to be very hard for California to try and maintain. Mm Mm-hmm. So, uh, because of this, I see them opening up to 25% sooner mm-hmm. than they were planning. Yep. Uh, again, speculation, 100%. Mm-hmm. But they're going to have so much uproar because of it. Oh, yeah. And then, I won't really get into coronavirus as a whole. <laughs> well, you know, as Colton said, we are trying to avoid that. Mm-hmm. But I highly, highly recommend if you guys have about a spare hour and 20 minutes of your day at some point, I do recommend, I think it's very interesting to watch the Netflix thing called The Mm Plandemic. And then I highly, highly insist that if you watch The Plandemic, you go back and watch Dr. Mike's fact checks on The Plandemic Conspiracy. Yes. Now, watch them both. Yes, watch them both. Watch the Netflix one first, and then the Dr. Mike one second. In that order specifically. You have to do it in that order. Um, it, <clears throat> and, you know, if you're pressed for time, you can just watch the Dr. Mike one as well. Because he is, like, watching and commentating at the same time. Um, mm-hmm. So if you're pressed And he hits for time, the important parts. Yeah, yeah. He hits the most crucial parts. Um, yeah, I... I'm not even going to talk about it because it's such an interesting perspective on both Mm -hmm. sides. Um, And it's even crazier because they're both experts in their respected fields. Um, So, yeah, you guys should really go watch that. It's very informative from the Dr. Mike aspect. Um, It's an eye-opener when you watch both. Let me just put it that way. It's it's huge. Yeah. And... You know, going back to what you said, Colton, about the homeless people, mm-hmm. I I don't have a good answer really for that. Yeah. To be honest, um, give me my four years of medical school and I might have something better <laughs> for you. But the only thing I can think of is that they probably don't have the people interaction that we have. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, so that- not necessarily. Because usually poor people congregate with more poor people because of shelters. Yeah. So if anything, but they're if close with each other. But if it's getting spread away from them and they're not the target group? I mean, everybody's the target group. Then it's not in group. that shelter. Everyone's a target group, but it has to start from somewhere. I mean, I don't know. It's just interesting. It was, it's a very interesting yeah. point, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's, it's interesting <laughs> as hell, because I don't know... <laughs> Why don't they? Yeah. Do they have heightened immune systems because they're always outside? That could be part of it. I mean, honestly, Maybe not they a have bad it, guess. but they're mostly immunosuppressant? Maybe. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. No, nah, I'm curious. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, you know, at the end of the day, back getting back to the whole main topic here, the Elon Musk thing, at the end of the day, it brings up the question, if they're doing it, why aren't we yet? That's that's the mm-hmm. question this brings up, um, and and we'll just leave it at that. It's definitely and, something know, something to think on. Absolutely, and my question to Colton, mm. an important question here. I like this. Which side do you think is right? The Twitter approach, oh, or the Elon Musk approach? So. Hmm. <clears throat> It's hard to say because they're two vastly different businesses. One, you don't need people in person. One, you do need people in person. Mm -hmm. One's a manufacturing job. One is strictly an internet job. So it's hard to say in that regard. But, I mean, I can give you my broad opinion, I guess. Um, okay. In terms of social distancing and, I guess, what is it, straightening out the curve or lowering the peaks and whatnot, Twitter's approach makes more sense. Um, but at the end of the day, how long is that going to last? And I think that's where Elon's approach comes in. 
We've been on quarantine lockdown for two months, right? Mm-hmm. But we're not really seeing any major signs of flattening this curve. or And we're still hitting peaks. So that's pretty much a guaranteed two or three more months. Because now, now we're looking at six months on lockdown, right? Mm-hmm. Nobody. That's just not going to fly with Americans. Like... And then, you know, we have the new unemployment rates. We have the, you know, we have the second round of stimulus checks being talked on and passed about by the government this week. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, you know, it's just, it's just unfortunate, first of all. I mean, this is just insane. Um, I feel like March was literally yesterday and like it's already summer. um but yeah i mean yeah i don't know i get elon's point i get twitter's point um i think i side a little bit more with elon just for the sake of like we're everybody's just sitting around right Mm -hmm. nobody's really doing anything other than working from home um now, Twitter's approach to keep people working at home, that I can see. But the whole in terms of lockdown, I think, personally, we can start lifting things in the next month here. It's such a hard thing to say, and it, it's hard to decide. Mm-hmm. And you look at you know both those videos, again, highly recommend them. You have two different medical professionals. Mm-hmm. And if you count all the doctors between both videos, you probably have half a dozen. Yeah. Talking about their opinions to this, but it's such a controversial, (laughs) you just don't know. Yeah. You know what the best choice is? Uh, Lockdown sucks. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) But if it's for the greater good, I'm okay with it. Yeah. And I think everybody is in that boat. But yeah. now it's getting to the point to where people are getting antsy and starting to question things. You know, is it for the greater good? If it is, I'm all for it. If it's not, then we should stop it. Right. Simple as that. Right. But, you know, we can't make that call. We're not epimologists or virologists or anything. <laughs> yeah. So, let's just leave it at that. 